at Parkway's Mason Ridge Elementary School, Miss Elaine, as she is known, is not much taller than the kids she has come to tutor, but she is a little bit older. I'll be 90 in December. Come into the sacred garden with me. Morning. Oh my gosh, we are so lucky to have Miss Elaine at Mason Ridge. I couldn't have asked for a better situation. Do you want to go first? Yeah. Okay. Miss Elaine, spelled E period Lane, has been part of the Oasis Institute's volunteer tutoring program for over 20 years. Way to go. She also spent 40 years working in Montessori yes, education. Yes. So she knows what to do and she knows what not to do. A lot of the children are not heard, they, they, nobody listens to them. That's why I ask them, you know, what do you see in the picture? I won't give you the answer, I'll give you a hint. Let your brain take a picture of it. The only thing I can teach you is that as a child, you have the ability to learn. That's all, you can pull my chair out first. Miss Elaine's lessons include more than just the basics. This is my friend Amanda, and this is my friend Clara. This is your right hand. Hi Clara, it's nice to meet you. In addition to the academics, she teaches them life skills. So it's important that you greet her with a handshake, and she teaches them how to communicate through, you know, saying good morning. How are you today? And it's nice to see you. Children do not come out of the womb knowing how to be polite. Someone has to teach them. Now, whether they do it or not, that's their choice. But can I fault them if they, if they don't do it, if I haven't taught them? You show me how you make a D. You might think by giving her lessons so conspicuously, the kids she works with might get teased by the kids she doesn't, but they don't. From the very first year that I started, every year, the other children in that class go to their teacher and they say, when is it going to be my turn to work with Miss Elaine? Why doesn't she choose me to work with? So I'm going to read you a story today about Butterfly. It was simply a reading lesson, but learning about how a caterpillar becomes a butterfly also seems like a perfect analogy for what Miss Elaine is trying to do with these kids. But since she considers this the sacred garden, she prefers a different comparison. I don't know what that color is called. It's kind of like planting a seed, and then the elements of the soil and the sun and everything that that seed is going to be is already in the seed, and I'm just coaxing it to come out rather than telling them what I think they should be or do. The Back. I like seeing her. It's like something that I love. You don't have to be an astronaut or a neurosurgeon. If you're being the best you can be, and you're a good person, and you're considerate of other people, you're a winner in my book. After each visit, Miss Elaine writes that book giving teachers an evaluation of the progress her students are making and the challenges they continue to face. It's an S, and what sound do we make for the S? Okay. Like snake. Oh, that's a good one. The growth that happens in Miss Elaine's sacred garden is not just because hers is a classroom of one. It's also because, as a teacher, Miss Elaine is in a class all by herself. It confirms for me that I am aligned with what God designed me to do. I just have a feeling that this is what's been given to me to give back. It's not for me, it's to invite them to be who they are. Wait, look, she's changing while we watch. In moments, Moni is a dainty, graceful butterfly and beautiful. You can turn the page. 